Hey YouTube, Major Sporto again. Um, just checking in with you guys, working on something I thought I'd share. Um, I'm working on one of the other harnesses that I'm kind of cleaning up for my friend. And uh, I wanted to show you what I've been doing and um, something that I feel is a necessary improvement to the original harnesses and that's the removal of these black and white connectors the, between the engine harness and the uh, main harness. And you'll hear them referred to as salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Um, so far I've removed the main one. This is an extension piece, but I guess you can see it and understand what I'm talking about. Uh, very, it's on all the harnesses. Um, it's designed to be able to make the harness modular and removable, I guess, for maintenance purposes. But um, these connectors over the years have become brittle and corroded and they become problem areas for conversions of the harnesses. So what I do is I eliminate them all together, like I did with this one. And then I come down here and you can see I splice the wires all together in this area right here. I heat, I did some soldering and then I did some heat shrink on here and then I'll wrap this whole thing into the harness. So if I pull back a little bit, here's the black one. This is on the engine side, or yeah, the, uh, excuse me, the main harness side. Okay, and this is the power wire. I'm getting ready to roll that into the engine harness, which is down here. So I'll be cutting this piece off. And then I'll be splicing and I'll have just a big branch of um, wires here. This is where this comes in super handy. This is the breakout box. Um, I guess hopefully I'll try to show to you on more closely. But each one of those numbers lines up with the pins. And the connectors connected into the main area here. And under my diagram, I have the continuity tester. It's just a basic blue point multimeter. It just tests continuity. So essentially, if I touch my connections, I get a sound. Now I have this in pin number 57, which if you research your diagrams, 3757 is the 12 volt uh, key power to the whole harness. Har powers up all the sensors powers up pretty much everything. So that, that that circuit runs through the whole harness. And I know that this wire, I'll try and do it with my phone here. I can hold it out. But if I, maybe you'll hear it or not, but if I touch this, okay, I get a signal. So I know I have a connection all the way back to the other end of the harness. Now I know <clears throat> that circuit in particular, I could spread, I could do a whole video on that circuit. But I'm just demonstrating the fact that I'm able to test continuity with a multimeter my breakout box I got this on eBay it's about 75 bucks it's not a lot of money I know it has a more uh, sophisticated purpose if you actually work it in the car but I've never done that I've just used it for continuity checking <laughs> excuse me so anyway I'm getting ready to wrap this up by removing this salt and pepper shaker or excuse me this black connector one of the salt and pepper shakers and then splicing the wires to the main harness and wrapping the whole thing up into an easy-to-manage um, block of wires. Again, it's an optional thing you can do. I just know that in my working with these things, I've found that these connectors, after 30 years, can be problematic. So it's just sometimes better to remove them all together. So that's it for tonight. I'm going to continue on with this, and uh, you'll see. Okay, This is where the white connector was. and get rid of that. And then that basically fuses the engine harness to the main harness. Uh, but when I get this all done, I'll lay it out on the ground and go over it with everybody so you can see exactly what I did and how this harness is going to be implemented. It looks messy now, but it'll be cleaned up later. All right, so that's it for now. Have a good night. See you online.